so, uh, episode three of the how to sleep thing. So, um, I, uh, I had no plan. So let's just see. What is it? Uh, I mean, originally I guess the plan was more movements. So, yeah, let's just place the player down. Let's do movements, I guess. Uh, yeah, so, um, I don't remember the script, so, yes. This is just not, um, spot. I'll just, like, pull it out, test it, and then I can explain it later. It's probably an easier way, but... Oh, there it is. Alright. Okay, so this pretty much just like increases your movement speed. And then, yeah, and then also works sideways. And backwards. Shift still makes you a bit faster, but no, not much. So, yeah. Also, it doesn't make you face through walls, I think, if I am right. face through walls, which is better than just teleporting in front of you, by a lot. So let's just take a look at this one. So it gets the position of the player, it also gets the forward of the player, and then it multiplies the forward by the speed you want it to go, which in this case is 10, and by doing that you add that to the position of the player, then you get the teleport of where to teleport to, which is pretty much just teleporting in front of you quickly, but yeah, who really cares? It doesn't go through walls, so it's good enough, right? Anyways, so now that there's a jump node, which was made after this script was made, so jump. Actually, I'm just doing this kind of thing. Uh, I did this earlier. It's pretty simple. Uh, just bind this player. Yeah, so this pretty much means that you'd need a almost frame perfect input. You just have to click B and space at the same time. And then you should get a double jump. But if you only press space, then it's normal jump. Press B and space it. Jump space. I haven't found a way to do it better yet, but I don't know. I'll try doing this video. So yeah, that's pretty much the basis of what we're gonna do today, I guess. Double jump is cool. So, uh, Actually, can I strength with it? I was thinking of adding some binds to N and then Yeah. N N and V binds. So then it like teleports to right and left. But honestly it just might work like that. Uh, yeah. I'll just go with this real quick. It's, it's on jump, and then if key B is pressed, then it jumps. If you're jumping at the same time. So. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Oh, what else is there? Like in terms of moving, uh, hmm. 
for I guess we could try adding get forward and then press it okay, get forward. This would just be like a dash, right? This is going to be a bit confusing because so I'm just going to do it this way. And then uh, 3D. It has to be 3D because it's a float free and a float. If you just do mode F, it's two floats. So, unless you, know, you want to do something like that. That needs two floats, that's not gonna work. Okay, so float yes, hundred sounds nice. Sure. And then after that you add three D because okay, you can't add those as I'm not actually sure how you add two 3D positions, but who knows? I oh, how does that? Okay, anyways, uh, yeah, teleport. Get it. And then I guess we could just set it to. Return? Oh, tab. Sure. Tab, tab seems nice. way to solve this because right now it overlaps teleports and you know unless we do uh, it's not really gonna work because you have to let go and then if the teleports are overlapping then it just does the one that repeats more I guess I'm not sure why you can't do both so I guess the best option right now would be to put the man offset. Right? Uh, I'm not actually sure how I would do that. Uh, I could have them on weights. No, I, I could not. I don't like overlap. I could have this set 1.11. One one.
Okay, so, and then have this one in 1.12. Yeah, that seems fair. And then, yeah. I guess we can try rigging this up. Rule is a yes or no. So if the key is pressed, then it's a true. So yeah, let's do this. Uh, um, that obviously because it's really easy to open this thing up. I am sorry if you cannot hear me, because I am speaking quietly today. But, who really cares, right? Anyways. So yeah, that's pretty much the idea. It's... Okay, that's dumb. Why did I do that? It's... That should work. So, in theory... Let's just forget that. Okay. So, let's just delete this because that's just really movement speed, right? So, we don't need that, do we now? Uh, that's the double jump and then this is the dash. So, yeah. Let's just try this. You can. to double jump because you have to hit both keys at the same time. Uh, I should I'm I should change the thing off from tab. set as N because who needs side, side dashes anyways? Um. Okay, so what should we set B to? No. 
Um, let me just rebind this one. Because whenever you give a player a weapon, it debinds it because it changes the unit inherently. So, yeah. And we have a red dude over here on guard. On guard thingy. And then yeah, just. jump is kind of useless, but let's just say there's guys in a room. You know, it'd make for a good fight thing, I guess. It's like fours. Uh, I guess have a few in here. Nobody covers stairs, obviously, but this can be good there. Just, you know. And then just corner. Okay. It's realistic ish. Not really good enough. Anyways, so yeah. I mean, you know, normally I just do. I got shot, so it's not the optimal way to do it, obviously. I misclicked because tab. And then now I'm up here, so. not actually be much better. It would be fun. Right, that's all that matters. Uh, okay, so there's a like short teleport that you can double jump now. I'm not sure. You can optimize double jump for sure. Uh, There's breakouts. Right? Um, from a different direction. Oh, uh, goodness. Mm. Let's see. It's probably like enough time, but let's just take up some scripts. Uh, Oh, that's just like moving fast, I guess, and it heals, so yeah. Mm. With this, this is old. Oh, um, it works, but it's really laggy. Just because you need to fill the entire place up. So pretty much it ray casts, and then teleports a guy to where you're pointing. The only way I got this to work was having a room full with well, walls and roofs. So then you can just point out a wall and then you fly there. Yeah. It's laggy, but it works. Somewhat. Let's see. 
uh, oh my goodness. If you're, like, having a big fight, and then, like, you actually want the player to get somewhere without everybody getting killed, you could have this. Or, of course, you could have passive units and then just animate them, but, you know, if you're lazy, just do this. It just makes it, when you enter trigger, it makes it so everything's health is set lower, so that they kill each other. And you can fight the dudes. Uh, this, I've used a few times. Pretty much all this is useless unless you have more than one. But, you know, real sick have charges, just run at people. If it's less than five distance, it dies. So the pretty much the only way to stop it would be archers or a oh, way too many guys dead. But, but that's how you stop horses. So, yeah. This I will go over another day. But yeah, that this should have worked, but it doesn't. Uh. This also should work, but it kills the unit instead that you're, you have. That works. So pretty much it just sets the behavior of the unit you have to follow you by adding him to the squad and default. And then go there, it removes the unit from the squad, it sets the behavior to guard. Rooms from squad sets to default, and then you raycast so it hits the location where you want him to go, and then you set him to guard so he stays there, and then you have him in the lie position, because for some reason, back then, if something in guard position blank, and then you have it set target position, it stays in the guard position while moving. Which is fun. Because, you know, you can watch guys crawl, or you can watch them crouch over. Actually, I might try that later, just because why not. And, you know, I feel like I've got time in this recording, right? Uh, oh, no, it's me being dumb. Anyway, so attack, it just removes them from squad and sets behavior. So, I should, might want to save these. Might not. I might. Yeah, I'll do it later. I'll just save the entire thing. Okay, so. I'll just remove the player, I guess. And then have an ancient knife. So. Actually, I might need a player. Anyways. Um, okay, so start. Might want to play for this, but who cares? Unit. This guy. Behave. I can't spell. Guard. Yes. Uh, same unit. Obviously. Actually, for the squad, I could do something with array. If you don't know what it is, it's an array of blank amount of things. And then it could be units, so like, let's just put A because that's squad size. And then you have all of their units as reference, and then you have a get random. And then instead of binding every single unit, and then you tell them to go there, or do whatever, you just drag one from randomly from the array. And then when you have them 
one of them like go there and then you remove them. You also set that one as a variable and then you re-add them when you press follow. Uh, I hope you understand that. But you could rewind, I guess, and then, yeah. Anyways, I will keep that in mind. So, guard pose. Normally it's ready, so I want him to lie. And then... So set target, if it's a unit, then it, if it has a gun, it shoots at it. If, if it's target position, then it just goes there. 